Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Maybelline Brow Drama and the Benefit Gimme Brow. So the way I decided to do this video is I'm going to show you a demo of me using the Benefit Gimme Brow on one eyebrow and then the Maybelline Brow Drama on the other eyebrow. Then I'm going to do like a versus but not really because these are kind of really similar and different at the same time. So I'm going to talk about their pros and cons and... Yeah! Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with the Benefit Gimme Brow. Benefit Gimme Brow in Medium Deep. You can definitely tell that this has more color, more like volume, just it's there. This one is just like, help me. So my Maybelline Brow Drama is in the color Deep Brown. Whenever I use the Brow Drama and I take out the wand, I like to take out the excess product from the tip just in case it like gets on my skin and I don't want that. I like to tease my eyebrow hairs with the the Maybelline Brow Drama. I keep forgetting the name of this. With the Maybelline Brow Drama, you kind of have to work a little bit more than, let's say, the Gimme Brow. So, yeah, I like to go up on these type of hairs because that's where I have like the most baldness. And then right here, I don't really have that much baldness. So I like to tease it up here and then just take it down there. part of the video. Alright, so starting with the prices of both of them, which is kind of like the most important part, I think. <laughs> the Benefit Gimme Brow is $22 for uh, 0.1 ounce and then the Maybelline Brow Drama is $7.99 with 0.23 ounces. So, you get more for your money with the Brow Drama and this one is just like way too expensive in my opinion. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start with the Maybelline Brow Drama. I have more cons than pros with this product. The main pro about this is that it is really, really, really cheap. It is $7.99 and you can get it way cheaper with sales and coupons and stuff like that. Also, you get a lot of product with this, so I really like that. Another pro is that this comes in three different colors. So it's easier to find your color. Alright, so starting with the cons, um, the first con is the wand. It is a ball-shaped wand and it's kind of bigger than my actual eyebrow. So I feel like it's going to get on my skin way more than the Gimme Brow. So yeah, that's one of the cons. It has gotten on my skin, but it's really easy to take off. You just swipe it and it comes completely off, which I appreciate so much. The Maybelline Brow Drama is basically a tinted brow mascara. It's like a gel moussey kind of formula and I kind of like it and it's not a big deal. Like, It's not something that I'm going to be like, oh my gosh, I need that in my life forever and ever and ever and ever. To me, this is just another brow product. Also, the bristles on the ball shaped wand is really long. Like, Why are you so long? Um, they're for my eyebrows, not for my lashes, so I don't understand why it's so long, like, no. If it were smaller, this product would work way, way better, way better. A strange thing about this product is that when you go ahead and take it off with water, you can feel it coming off your, like, brow hairs. You know when you rub your hands really, really hard together and you get, like, skin, like, little wrapped skin on your hands? Well, that's what it feels like. Like when you take it off, you feel it like coming off. It's really strange. Not a big deal, but I just thought I'd let you guys know about that. As for the Benefit Gimme Brow, I have more pros than cons with this product. 
it is $22 that is the con it is way too expensive for this little miniature thing I also love the packaging of this it is really tiny and it's compact and it's travel friendly unlike the brow drama like yup this is too big another pro is that this has fibers in it so it makes your brows look more voluminous and full and beautiful um, this one doesn't have it a con about this is that it only comes in two colors it comes in I believe light medium and then medium deep so yeah I, I tried the light medium first before I bought this one and it looked too ashy on me so I didn't get it I got this one instead so yeah that might cause some problems for some people and yeah I freaking love the wand on this product it is tiny just like my eyebrows so I can get in there like on the edges and wherever I have like not that much hair I can just like fill it in I love it so much they did an amazing job picking the right wand and I don't know I just freaking love this and it's pointed so you can just like like you can just get in there and like make your eyebrows look bam both of these products are really long wearing I've worn this like overnight because I haven't taken off my makeup and they both have lasted on my eyebrows like all I have to do the next morning is like wash around my eyebrows because I don't even want to touch it because it looks perfect it kind of looks even better than when I actually applied it if you have really sparse eyebrows this might not be the best brow product for you it can be used after you use like a, a pencil or a powder to fill in your eyebrows you can just go over this for more like emphasis on your eyebrows more color more definition um, that's really good but if you have like eyebrows like me that I already have like hairs on my eyebrows and there's just little parts that are baldy this is a great product for you this is a great lazy product for eyebrows I love these both of course I love the benefit give me brow way more because it's easier to use it's faster to use it gives me voluminous eyebrows and this one is easy but not as easy as I would like to you have to learn with this with this you can just do 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 done you're already a master with this like the first time you use it this takes a bit of practice with and yeah some people might not like that the benefit gimme brow is also a like gel moussey kind of formula so this one is a bit watery though this one is more thick so yeah that's the difference between the formulas if you are starting with makeup I suggest that you go for the brow drama first instead of spending $22 on this bad boy after you feel comfortable with filling in your eyebrows and how you look with your eyebrows filled in because that's always something you need to get used to it definitely took me a while to learn how to achieve natural looking of full eyebrows and stuff like that I, I mean I'm still learning I'm not the best at it of course but this is a great product to start doing that if you are interested in the benefit gimme brow make sure that you are like a member of the Ulta rewards program and the Sephora rewards program because really soon they're going to be doing like sales for Christmas and stuff I know Sephora has their VIB sale that's 20% off everything I think um, like beauty insiders have 10% off everything I'm not sure but I know that's coming up and Ulta is always giving out like 20% off coupons and 10% off prestige brands so you can definitely get this way cheaper than $22 if you are interested I think I'm gonna call this the brow wars like video or something I don't know but that is all for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe learned something and if you have any questions just make sure to leave a comment down below and I will answer back as soon as possible. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the day and week and I will talk to you in my next video. I love you guys so much. Bye. I guess you're lucky that it's dark now. And if I like it, then we'll stay. Impress the Empress, take a shot now. We got the glow.